Hi, I'm Oliver Lundy, a photographer from the UK, and this is the intro to my complete photography course. I'm gonna start with the absolute basics and take you all the way through to more advanced techniques and focusing on different genres and really getting the most out of your photography, whether you're trying to do it as a hobby or it's something that you eventually want to earn a living from, you can do all of that right here. I'm gonna create a playlist so that you can watch each episode in order based around what I think is the most useful to learn from the very beginning, or you can scroll through and check which lessons you think you could get something from, or come back and use them as a recap if you find that you're struggling with a particular concept. At the beginning, we're gonna be starting at the absolute basics. So if you can already use your camera well, you can shoot in manual, and you're already out there taking good shots, then move towards the uh, later stages and the more advanced concepts. If However, you're struggling with your camera and you don't know where to start, you're in the right place. So the way that I've built this course is each episode is going to look at a single concept. It's going to explain that concept, give you some example images so that you can see what I'm talking about. And then ideally, in most cases, I'm going to set a challenge or a task for you to complete. These practical tasks really make a difference to how quickly you'll actually be able to put these concepts into practice. And I strongly recommend that you take the time to do them. By all means, watch the whole series or binge watch the whole playlist or the whole episode and then come back and do the tasks. The tasks is what is really gonna cement that knowledge for you and mean that you don't have to think about it every time you go out and shoot, you'll just know what you're doing straight away. So if you're totally new to photography, you've probably been asking yourselves a couple of questions and one of them is, where do I start? And really there's two concepts that I wanna introduce at this stage. You've got everything that's technical and it's what goes on inside the cameras and what settings do you use and lighting and all of these other elements that we'll go into. Um, and because there's so many, we're gonna try and start with the fundamentals and then move into the more advanced stuff as we go through. But that's the technical side. The other side of photography is what goes on in front of the camera. And that's where all of the decisions about artistic preference come in and what you think looks good aesthetically, as well as what moment to take the photo and how to set up shots, or are you gonna try and go out there and take candid shots, or are you shooting weddings or landscapes or all of these other types of things. And everything that's within that world of what's in front of the camera is either genre specific, or it's to do with artistic expression. And as a beginner, we tend to get focused on the camera and how to get a photo. And quite often with the more advanced cameras, there's so many settings to choose from, it can be a bit confusing. So we get very wrapped up in what's happening inside the camera. As you get through this course and you get more and more practice with your camera, you'll start thinking more and more about what to put in front of the camera and your own artistic style and choices will then start to come in. So which one do you learn first? Well, really it's a chicken and egg situation and you have to learn both and the best photographers in the world are always trying to get better and improve their skills in both areas. But to start with, we are gonna go with camera basics. Um, before you can really learn and get into the more advanced um, photography concepts, uh, things like compositional theory and, and uh, artistic expression and, and all of the things that we will get uh, to in later videos, you need to be able to work your camera first. So the first episode is gonna be on camera basics. It's gonna look at what cameras uh, are available today and why you might pick certain uh, models or different types. And then we're gonna move into the basics of the exposure triangle, but more on that next episode. So one last thing before we get cracking. Learning photography involves a lot of mistakes and I want you to seek those mistakes out. We need to seek out failure. Taking loads and loads of photos and failing and getting it wrong is how you're gonna learn really quickly. There was an experiment done a while ago by a photography uh, instructor who split his class into two. And on one half of the class he said, I'm gonna judge you on one single photo and all I'm concerned about is how good that one photo is and on the other side of the classroom he said I'm going to judge you purely on how many photos you take and guess which side of the classroom came back with the better photos it was the side who had, had to take the most if you obsess over the details and you you only ever learn in theory then you'll never actually 
learn the principles, whereas the ones that just went out and started taking photos, learnt as they went and learnt from their mistakes. And that's what I want you to do, is embrace this concept of go out there, yeah, learn, learn from these videos or any other tuition that you can get access to. Go out and do it and don't be afraid to try something new and see how it goes. And quite often you'll find that through your failures you'll learn the best lessons. So embrace failure, it's said, and I do like quotes, so you're gonna hear quite a lot of them on this channel, that the difference between a master and a beginner is that the master has failed more times than the beginner has ever even attempted. And it couldn't be more true. So learn, fail, repeat, that's gonna be our mantra for this series, and I really want you to embrace it. It's the wonderful learning tool that it is, and don't judge yourself, and don't let other people get you down, but just because you're out there trying something new. So that's it for the intro for this series. I hope you join me for the rest of the videos and you enjoy photography as much as I do. And I look forward to seeing you all there. By all means, if you have any questions, please do comment below and do click the like and uh, subscribe button. It really does help smaller YouTube channels get the traction and hopefully help other people as well. So see you in the next one. Thank you.